Yeah, I'd have to go all the way around to that other parking lot to get to the... And, it, and then the arms closing around the wheels would probably be a no, huh? Probably not, because it's, there's big rock there. So what are you thinking? Probably not. I'll probably have to get a fair amount of lift on the back and then see if we can go neutral and then just try to pull it back up the way it came in. I'm guessing you came from this way, right? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like there might be some damage on this front bumper. Yeah, I mean, it's... Let me see how that... It's pulled the... Uh... Inner fender out there. Inner fender well out. Yeah. Okay. A little bit up there. I, don't, I, I could probably get that blocked up right there a little bit. Yeah, we'll build this up a little bit. How bad is it? I, I'm sure it's fine. It looks like it's just got your, your fender well. Some of your plastics has just kind of like broke loose a little bit. I, I don't know what the under underside looks like, and it's really hard to see this. I, I think it's fine. I don't see anything. I don't see anything there. Just be right there mid car. After we get it lifted up, we'll see what it looks like right there. I'm sure you've got an insurance policy. Is this yours or a rental or a rental? A rental. Okay. Yeah. If, if you've got the rental policy, they'll usually reimburse for stuff like this. So just save our receipt. I mean, I, the only insurance I have is my own. So just, just very frankly, it's my first time this has happened to me. Like, I feel like there's no fencing here or anything. Like, you feel no that there's cause for that this is a different parking lot? I'll tell you, it's it's happened several times. We've been over here several times. You're not the first ones, I promise. It looks like... It looks like they've torn down the fence. It looks like there was, but somebody probably went through it. Yeah, so, like, I, I mean, in your professional experience, do you think this is possible to or something like that? Or? I mean, all, the only thing I can tell you is to get lots of pictures and save all of our receipts. Okay. You know, you might be able to pursue something on, on that end of it, but, uh, you know, I, I, I can't really say. But just make sure you've got plenty of documentation. And like I said, save our receipt, save your photos, and then just submit that to the, uh, to the insurance company. Because, uh, you know, the, it's a rental, so it's going to be fully insured. So you, you, should, you should be able to get your money back out of out of that we'll just see if we can get it lifted up enough and and i've got some blocking we'll get some blocks behind the tires and then we'll get it pulled back up up that same way and hopefully there's no damage on that bottom i mean usually fuel lines run down that way and, and electrical harnesses and things like that run down that that frame rail but most of the time they're up in the channel and and it's, it's very rare that, Help us verify that as well, right? yeah we'll make sure I, i'll have it up in the air so you guys can get photos but we'll, give me just a second. I'll ha it'll, it'll take just a little bit to get some things set up here. I think I'm going to pull it back up the same way, I guess. I mean, I'll get call me crazy, but the grass should be a dead giveaway. You can't drive Probably gonna be my best bet because if I don't, I'll get into that bumper. We'll and lift it and then we'll we'll uh, build bridge. Sounds good. Yeah. I can't reach that one. See if we 
can get an angle of them. Give me just a sec. Can yeah. get it, yeah. If we can get it to climb it, okay. that will be great. Okay. Ain't much I can do with that one. Are the okay? So the keys. Do you have the keys? Yeah, I think so. They're in it. side over there is not wanting to cooperate at all. I'm going to see if I can get it to climb that and then see what that looks like. I want it to stay right there where it's at if it will. I've run out of boom, so I have to pull forward. Do you want? Do you need this other block on that other side? No, it'll be okay. I'll just slowly go forward. I'll go. Yeah. 
to that other block on the other side. Like there's a few things hanging down you're welcome to get right there ma'am it's fine make sure you get all the pictures and stuff that you can get okay. it just looks like uh some of the foam or something like that but yeah just make sure there's nothing leaking i don't see anything leaking out uh we'll see if we can get under there and, and uh either get that stuff removed so you can drive it or uh, see if we can get it zip tied up out of the way. Who's the rental company? We don't have any of those locations nearby. So. Okay, so they just drove off the edge of this parking lot here. You can see there, it is a forerunner, so it sits up high. It looks like, what is that, heat shield? I think it's um, the air conditioner. So I don't think it's, it's anything bad. Um, yeah, normally the, it'll do some condensation from the air conditioner side. Everything underneath looks okay, other than this. Uh, what's this, what's yeah, this? Yeah, it's just a foam. Uh, it Jeff. looks like uh, the exhaust right here is kind of damaged. Let me get, let me see if I can get this. We'll probably have to, to cut that foam, but the exhaust, can you see the exhaust right there? The bracket and um, all of that stuff is, is got a pretty good, it's got a pretty good dent in it. Okay. But I, I still don't think it'd keep you guys from driving it. Um, you know, it's it just they're probably just going to tell you to make sure you've got all the the video and the and the pictures that you can get. You're welcome to call them. Um, the only thing I can do right now is is to take this off, unless you guys want me to. If you guys wanted to do a claim, they'll want us to take it back to our lot, and then then you guys won't have a vehicle. So I don't want to leave you guys stranded. If you want to call them and ask them what they recommend you doing and then just let us know uh, that's the only bad part is we don't have a six we don't have another rental company here in the area okay. um, but the exhaust is definitely damaged you can did you see the bracket you might want to look at the bracket if you look way up here see that bracket and all of the metal is is pushed okay. and then and then just this and then uh, the the bumper. What I'd worry about is you guys going the highway. That that stuff right there likes to blow back, and it could get into the wheel. This battery's gonna die. It'll definitely need a new one of those. <laughs> All right, 
It might it might make some some rattly. I don't think it'll even rattle though. It looks like most of this stuff is aluminum heat shield. Got a decent dent right there. Right there. Some gouges over here. Yeah. It's a under the under that fender there behind that tire. Yeah, just here. And then in the front. This right here, I don't think it'll rattle, but that bracket is back up out of the way, and that's just a heat shield. Okay. So I don't think it'll. And front but my this would be my concern. I'll be it blowing back. If that blows back, it gets caught in your tire. It's the, the thing is missing right here, that's what it is. Let me see if I've got a tie, if I've got a little tie where I can tie that right there, yes, I think it'll be okay and I don't think it'll come back for you. I think that'll keep it from getting into your tire. I think that's okay. That's the only thing that I've seen really. I think that's that looks factory. It was just right in that little Right in that little clip right there, but I don't think it's a big deal either. That lower piece. Yeah, do you see it from here? You know, maybe it was there already, but they it's hard i know man when i rent these things i'll usually do a video walk around before i take it from them because you never know no uh, uh not yet i just got it down we can do that yeah the steering wheel and the Well, well, thank you guys. <laughs> and if that company needs the footage, like we video all of our stuff too, just so in case. So you can call me and I can get you the footage if you. Okay, can you do that regardless? Just right yeah, now? yeah, just for your guys' record for sure. Okay, guys, um, you know, it's crazy that we just talked about that one in just a couple of videos back where, um, you know, we had a, another company that responded there uh, to that same spot. And it happens a lot. Uh, and I, you know, just like I talked about with the other company, there's more than one way to skin a cat there. And I could have went all the way back around to the other side of the parkway and, and tried to scoop it from the front and, and uh, get it pushed back. But, uh, you know, that, I like to use my hydraulics. You know, I think they had it in, in four-wheel drive and they were doing a lot more tugging. But we were able to get it lifted up just high enough to where the tires were contacting that uh, that wall so it just it just walked right back up that concrete wall and i didn't drag anything i didn't didn't further tear anything else up i guess is the and good thing i'm so glad that you didn't drag anything because there was some damage and it was 100 percent not caused by us because there was zero dragging yeah there was immediate lift and then rolling so that's why we like to document this stuff guys you know because they were really upset they you know they were they were saying that it, it should be you know uh uh, a better barrier barrier there or some more signage and you know i i, I can't disagree with them um you know it, it should be a uh, you know a, i don't know a, a cross tall a cross tie ledge or wall or just even even a bunch of signs or reflectors would uh would really be beneficial there but you know like i said i at the end of the day all we want to do is make sure we've got eyes on that camera because you know if i would have if i would have just pulled and drug then they could have said you know that you tore that exhaust up taking it out 
or that heat shield or any of that other stuff that we couldn't see until we got it you know out of there so it works really good just get that boom all the way out on that wheel lift and uh it'll it gives me you know i've not put a i've not put a tape measure on it but i i would say it probably gives me about six foot five or six feet five or six foot of of retraction um and that was just enough to get that tire you know up on the ledge and then just just pull forward and let it down so uh and bridge building bridge building is uh kristen's uh i love it it's her go-to she she's very good at it so um keep plenty of blocks and chunks of wood and, and you just have to get really creative sometimes with your with your tow truck lego blocks because you just never know what you're going to have to construct to get that tire and, and usually it's nothing crazy you know you it's usually a matter of a couple of feet mm -hmm. if you can make those tires do what you want for a couple of feet on situations like that then you're home free and uh but anyway, uh, we appreciate you guys tagging along. We had uh, a couple of, uh, of our YouTube family members uh, catch us down there in the act, and uh, it was awesome meeting those guys. Yes, and it was. I met Teresa. I don't know who all you met. Yeah, we got to we got to meet a lot of good folks there. But anyway, um, it's going to be a busy busy week here. The leaves have changed. We got a little bit of cooler weather and, and some rain that's activated those leaves. You can probably see in the background there a little bit. Oh, there's some pretty. Men. There's some really good ones. There's some really good ones. So it's going to be busy. It's going to be a busy time. And uh, we appreciate you guys hanging out with us. And hopefully we can get you guys some more kind of cool videos. See you on the next one. Okay, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, got a really cool Honda hat. Um... This was uh, up north, right? Somebody worked at the close to the factory or the plant. I can't remember. Yes. Um, yes, I remember. You got a was it an email, a text? I think I got an email or a text, and I'm sorry. Uh, like I said, guys, we get we get a lot of cool things dropped off to us, but I do remember uh, someone reaching out and said that uh, they missed us at the gate. I'm sorry, we we missed you over at the lot, um, but they were going to leave me a Honda hat. They they were close to the Honda plant, and um, that's a really nice hat. Like it's it's a Carhartt brand, and uh, embroidered. Um, so thank you, thank you for the hat. We appreciate that. We're here. It's a beautiful day, guys. Coben just left in the uh, FLS. We call it to, today. Uh, the old V8 swaps treating him pretty good. It's a f an absolute blast to drive. Um, still got a few kinks to work out of that thing. So uh, stick around, stay tuned to the channel. We probably got some more cool things in, in store for that. And uh, me and Kristen got out today in, in, the, in the Cobra. And it's just a good day to be out uh, car cruising. And uh, we're really enjoying ourselves today. And we wanted to, to stop by the shop here and, and go, go through a few of those things. Like I said, this, this Honda hat was really cool. Um, somebody left us a note. Should have mailed this sooner. I apologize. Please use this to help others. Um, like we did on the, they said the sweet couple at the hotel we need to replenish our funds so that we can give back and a nice dinner for you and Kristen as well. Um, so, uh, I think it's Barbara, Barbara and Scott. Yes, Oliver. We appreciate you guys on, uh, on that. That's, that's just super, super cool that you guys, uh, you know, uh, just, just keeping us going there with the YouTube family so we can, so we can help some of these people that we encounter on a daily basis just yeah it's really awesome to be able to give back and those people at the hotel were very appreciative you know like i said sometimes people just need a little uh to keep them to keep them going or keep their spirits up and um you know this stuff this stuff does all that so we appreciate you um somebody had mailed was it carol Raish? so carol um we got a bunch of baby clothes and um some cash to help uh some of our our youtube youtubers and our youtuber families but it had some money and, it, and it, we somehow misplaced the note, so we didn't know who it was from. Um, Kendra, if you guys follow Kendra on her channel, um, YouTube Kendra K, uh, she does some of her videos for the openings for uh, our newest member of the family, Alora. Carol got some stuff, and we weren't sure who it came from because the note got lost. But thank you so much, Carol. Uh, Kendra loved the you know the outfits and and all that stuff, and she will do a, a video on on her channel on oh, she already did she already did yes, she already okay did the video. she already did she just didn't know who it, who it came from i think it was yes. but super cool you guys are amazing you're always you know keeping us keeping us in with all kinds of cool 
cool stuff. Uh, so, you know, and, and, and like I said, the funds, we can't thank you guys enough for, for the funds. We, we try to keep those accounts set up for that. So, you know, whoever we come across, we can, we can help as needed. And, and we're looking forward to the, to the holidays so we can get, you know, some of the, some of the uh, dinners and uh, groceries and stuff like that. So we do have that planned and we will get that out there. Uh, somebody sent me some two tow trucks. He sent me one tow truck. Hang on, I gotta go get it. He sent the first one and I got, and I got a text message. It's, uh, it's a Dodge and it's got an auto loader and all kinds That's of cool stuff time. on it. Uh, cool little truck. But he said he sent me another one that was, was like big red. Thank you, we appreciate that. And those are just really cool. It was mad. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he had sent me a message and uh, he, he was excited for, for me to get this thing, which is, yeah, that, that's super cool. I, I don't know that I've ever seen anything like that, but that'll, that'll, be, that'll be really cool. And I don't know if I'll have, that's kind of tough to hang on to. A, a small kid would absolutely, especially if we come to do a service call and we yeah. towed or winched or, or helped their family in some way to have a, a truck that's the same as, yeah, that, would be pretty cool. that might be a, I might not be able to hang on to this one, but he said he's got big red coming too, so we might be able to hang on to that one too. Um, another thing, guys, that I wanted to touch on, on a more somber note here, we got an email from some uh, some of our followers, our YouTube family, friends. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching, but I uh, just wanted to put you know something out there in memory of Shannon, uh, always watching the channel there. Um, somewhere in here, guys, I'm gonna put the number to the National Suicide Hotline. It'll be somewhere here on the screen. Just know, you know, it's, you're always needed out there. Somebody needs you guys. It's not, don't ever get to the, to the dark place of, of suicide. Um, so, you know, when we get these emails and hear these stories, it is truly heartbreaking, especially to know that, um, you know, you guys watch the channel and uh, you both uh, enjoyed what we were doing, and then you know it, somehow it got to it got to a bad place. Uh, but always know that you can reach out to somebody, guys. Whether it's that suicide uh, hotline there, call, get things going there, or you know, no no matter how bad you think it is, uh, it's 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 never it's never at its low, guys. You've always got somebody out there that loves you or wants to talk to you. Whether it's a friend that's that you haven't talked to in 20 years, call them up. I'm sure they'll, you know, especially under the circumstances, they're gonna to wanna to talk to you. I don't care who it is, you know, a parent, a, a coworker, you know, whoever it is, just reach out to somebody and uh, and get some of this stuff talked through. There's no reason in the world to be by yourself or or think that you're alone or think that things are are just too bad to fix because it is never that. So I just wanted to, to go put that out there in memory of Shannon and uh we appreciate everybody watching the channel we appreciate the you know the funds it, it keeps it keeps us all going there but um like i said uh it's a beautiful day we're gonna we're gonna try to get back to work here i've got a lot of crazy things that i need to do here in the shop uh, i've got bronco things that i've uh, on my mind <laughs> we, we got another lift kit that i need to put on we've got bumpers coming i've got a lot of cool things that you guys might not want to uh, get bored with i know i've done a lot of bronco uh, bolt-ons and things like that but uh, you know sometimes it's uh we get carried away with things uh, like this crazy car back here mm -hmm.